Greetings everyone and welcome back to a tour of my Conan Exiles castle, the Viper's Neck. Last episode we had toured the interior of my keep, which uh, is a hexagonal keep as you can see here. And uh, each of the towers were the various rooms that you saw last episode with the, the main hall, the great hall being in the middle. Uh, I'm currently standing outside on the bridge between the north gate, the overlord's gate as I call it, and... Uh, and the mainland, basically. The castle itself is built on a sort of peninsula um, that curves, so that's why I called it the Viper's Neck. It kind of resembles the, the neck of a snake. And uh, here I've got my fish traps, where I harvest them to collect oil mostly. I don't really eat the fish. Uh, this is the domain of indie gaming, and we promise safe conduct to all merchants and travelers, and the merchants part I will get to in a minute. This is Overlord's Gate. I've got a few spare bearers in here, as well as some fighter thralls above there. We're not terribly well armed at the moment, but uh, welcome guys. Look at that view. This is the central courtyard for the castle, and uh, all of these, all of these walls we can walk through all of these towers, we can climb, and uh, most of them have nothing in them at the moment because it's, it takes a long time to build and an even longer time to furnish. Outside the front gate we've got a couple of uh, compost bins for throwing garbage. We have the temple, uh, specifically the altar of Ymir, and uh, there's a priest worshipping Ymir, the god of frost, I believe. He's a giant. So what the Nordheimers worship in this game, one of the races from Conan. This is my Greater Wheel of Pain. This is where I do a lot of my breaking. Uh, working it is Manos the Handful. <laughs> this is a reference to Manos in the Hands of Fate. Uh, I don't think there's anybody on it currently, but there it is. I've, on the front of the castle, the front of the keep rather, I have the uh, a dragon trophy. Green dragon head trophy. We uh, we went through quite a lot of quite a lot of quite a lot of blah, blah, blah. we went through quite a lot of danger to get that. <laughs> I don't know why I can't speak today. And uh, here we have the Viper's Crown, which is what I call the keep itself. Inside the keep, we have the Defari religion, which is the Yog uh, Yog religion. We have a shaman who's summoning. Yog Sototh, presumably, and some bongo drums, as well as rather grotesque wind chimes. And uh, moving along towards my favorite area in the castle is uh, my beehive collection. And over here, a bonfire for us to sit around at night, should, should we so choose. There's a nice cool evening, we can all come out here and gather as well as my archery range to uh, keep our skills after the bow in line. Besides here we have Pil Pilgrim's Gate, which is I call it Pilgrim's Gate because it leads, among other things, to the Temple of Mitra, which is along this causeway with burning fireball statues, and uh, Mitra is a it's kind of the, one of the more merciful gods in Conan. It's a statue of gold. All my statues are level 3. They've all been upgraded, so you can see these giant god beams stretching out into the sky. It's pretty nifty. Got a priestess working that. And uh, going back along, we have some crab pots along this wall. And that's what I mostly eat myself. Above the Pilgrim's Gate, I have various fighter thralls serving in the towers just to keep them safe so they don't run out the door. Uh, coming up next is the Temple of Set, which I built to resemble a Greek temple. Inside we have a Setite priest worshipping the triple snake god who is uh, big into human sacrifice. I can make arrows, special types of arrows here as well as decorations and whatnot. It, it's pretty neat. I'm, I'm happy with it. And here we come to my favorite part in the whole castle, the part I probably spent the most time working on, and the, the part that I, I really like the most. This is my slave market. And here I uh, 
I have made various dioramas. Now uh, this is my character, which I've zoomed out <laughs> by accident. Let's zoom back in. We have a fountain in the center, as well as, you know, various crates strewn about. Uh, this is a small tavern to service anybody who is visiting here. Its own brewing station and uh, wine press in the back. I have thralls working. They are actually fighters because there's no merchant thralls that I can put in here. It'd be really cool if you could capture merchants in the game and, and have them offer wares to people. I think that'd be a great addition. If someone has silver coins, then they could collect the silver coins and pay them to you. As long as you provided them with uh, with goods to sell, I think that should be something you can do. Over here we have the Ironmonger. I can't wait to show you this place at night because it looks even nicer in the evening. And he is selling uh, he's selling various uh, pots and pans mostly, and bowls, cups, anything you can want that's made out of uh, metal. If he doesn't have it, nobody does. I have one of the dancing girls who is caged, in case uh, we have any customers who want to inspect the uh, the property. God, I sound terrible. We have a uh, curiosity shop here with a the thrall working it. Has various different goods, silk goods, skulls, things you just can't get anywhere else. Religious items, uh, religious offerings, votive offerings, candles, all to service all of the temples. Uh, littering the area. This is one of my favorite views, just sort of standing right here and looking at the keep. It's already getting on into evening. We might even, by the time we finish, we might even be able to just go up and actually look out over the castle in the evening. So, in addition to the, uh, the curiosity shop over here, we have a potter selling all kinds of earthenware and stoneware uh, jugs and amphoras and anything else that you might want that is related to clay working. I wish there was a potter's wheel in this game. That would be a pretty cool upgrade. And I think one that's kind of necessary given the sort of Bronze Age um, theme of the game. Or Iron Age theme, I guess. Here I have another dancing girl as well as over here. Got a little uh, street food vendor for anyone who wants food as they come through here. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a pretty cool place to go. I'm going to actually climb the walls now. I think I'll take the stairs up, in fact. Oh, before I do that, though, we have uh, we have the wanted posters. So I, I actually do do business in Conan Exiles. I, I have a working slave market. A few people have brought me things, and I trade them for other uh, thralls, basically. I... I take materials, I take unique thralls. Most of the time I take unique thralls for in exchange for unique thralls, and these are the ones I have in stock that I have duplicates of, so various uh, ones here. And this is what I'm after. So, uh, quite a bit less on the stuff I'm after than what the stuff I have right now, but that's only because I, I haven't bothered to update this in quite some time. I don't get a whole hell of a lot of takers, but I, I do get some. Let's go ahead and climb one of the two gatehouses here. And uh, for some damn reason, some of my thralls have fallen through the floor. That's not so good. Somebody's been climbing around up here when they shouldn't have. That's okay, I'll fix that later. There's no way into these towers, there's no way into the walls. Unless, uh, unless I bring you in. Or you're in my, my guild, particularly. We've got horns on top of the main gate. I haven't shown yet. Looking out to survey the land, we see my inn, which I have built for travelers, anyone coming here to do business or trade. And I also have a map room that I've built, a public map room, so that anyone who comes here can get to wherever they need to go quickly. This is the overview of the, uh, the entire stretch of my operation here. We see the Temple of Mitra in the distance, the main keep with the Shrine of Durketo on top, and uh, as well as the Slave Market. It's getting on to dusk now, so I need to start hurrying. But uh, this is, this is again, one of my favorite views in the game. It just looks so good. Go over here and uh, also get this one. Yeah, I love it. 
The only, th the only thing that could have made this place better is maybe if it was on elevation, but I just couldn't find anywhere to build a structure of this size that was, uh, that was reasonable, we'll say. Um, so that is this area. I'd, I'd really love to, uh, to get a view of the keep, so I think that's where I'm gonna go next. Before I go outside to the, to the inns and stuff. Before it gets dark. I want to show off the stuff. I could open all these doors and walk through. I probably will for this one. A lot of my unique uh, fighters are in here, Janos, and everybody else. I'm not going to show them off. They're just they're fighters. They're meant to design the place. I haven't really armed anybody yet because there's going to be an update in a few days, a few months, a few weeks. Hard to tell that uh, basically... This, uh, this emerges onto the second floor of the keep in the interior. That basically um, is going to introduce a hunger system to the thralls, so everything I have placed around might up and die, and that would suck. So I don't want to deploy anymore, and I don't really want to arm them right now because it's a, it's a risk, and I don't really know how it's going to work, so I'm not too keen on... Uh, I'm not terribly keen on... Looks like Emu has decided to dance for us, isn't that kind of her? I'm not keen on deploying my slaves, only to have them all die on me. It just it isn't good for business. Might uh, give people the wrong idea about the operation I'm running here. Another overview, another great overview of my castle. We have some bridges stretching around. That bridge was actually built for me. Uh, well, not for me specifically, but for to service the castle and the map room and everything around it by uh, some very kind neighbors that I have. I have a good group of neighbors in this in this server. It's pretty. We all look look out for each other mostly, and I try to look at, look out for them. Um, another view. Starting to get on into the night now, so I'm gonna get moving. I'm gonna try and show off the map room and the inn because the inn is something to see as well, and I think. To expedite that process, I'm just going to leap down the side of my building. Uh, it's hard to tell how far, far along you're falling, but I'm pretty good at parkour at this point in this game. I love the way this place looks at night, and I can't wait for it to be nighttime to actually show you guys. It's starting to get to the point where it'll be really neat looking, so... This is the official front gate. This is, um, unofficially I call this uh, the Rhino Gate, but it's the it's the main gate. The Market Gate is another name that I've called it in the past. It's the Viper's Neck, home of indie gaming, gaming uh, safe conduct to merchants and travelers as usual, because obviously we need to conduct business. I need safe travel. I don't know why these trees Pers insist on growing so close, but uh, every time I cut them down, they come back, so I've given up on trying to take them down. Over here, we have my uh, advertisement for a slave market, and I should put up a sign here, absolutely no crocodiles allowed. Crocodiles need not apply, because they constantly follow me. This is a map room leading to all the various parts of the game. It works kind of like the teleporters in Diablo 2, if you've ever played that, I'm kind of having to juke this alligator, he really wants a piece of me. Um, but yeah, I can I can take portals here, and the only caveat is you can't come back once you've taken a portal to a place, uh, you have to find another means back, because the portals are only one way. Anyway, see if we can lose that alligator, looks like it. you can have fun in the map room. I'm going to go over to my inn, and uh, this is the Four Winds Inn, named after the Inn in Aiden Chronicles in Port Said. It's on the waterfront. It's got some uh, some fishing gear here. I'll show the basements first, or the cellars. This cellar is storage as well as cooking, and it has everything that you would expect to be in a storage area. It's sort of just a diorama. I don't use it for anything. Uh, moving in here, we have the entrance to the inn. It's a little confusing because you don't really get to see the good part yet, but this is yet more storage. This is the brewery portion of the inn, and the, uh, the wine cellar, where all the... Uh, is stored to service the end. Upstairs, right, so we're coming into the evening. One of my favorite parts to see in this, this area is actually in the evening. Uh, 
in the evening and in the mornings. And when the sun comes through these windows, it's just it's quite beautiful. Uh, I have inscriptions in Latin, which uh, this roughly translates... This is the verses of a song called In Taberna, and uh, it roughly translates to, uh, When you're in the tavern, uh, you don't think about dying. This is the rough translation. And uh, this, this means... Uh, ladies drink, lords drink, uh, soldiers drink. I think we've frozen. That's going to suck if so. Holy shit, I died. <laughs> oh, that's amusing. <laughs> I starved to death. I wasn't getting the uh, the notifications for my damn hunger. Oh, no. <laughs> that, that I have to laugh when something like that happens on camera and I spawn upstairs in my bedroom. Okay. Oh, uh, that's, that's no problem. I just gotta run out there and uh, grab everything and, you know, I'll leave the UI up for now. God, I'm, I am a professional. This is, this is a very professional operation that I'm running here. Of course, it's in the middle of the damn night. I'm gonna look at the ground so I don't spoil this for you guys. And, uh, this way, this way, this way, quickly. <laughs> Through the gate. Thank you. Gotta retrieve my body. <laughs> How stupid. That is so ridiculous. Anyway, um... Yeah, so... I'm also striking a T-pose. That's... This this game, I swear. Let's quickly put everything back on myself. Um... This goes here. This goes here. This goes here. Uh, that doesn't go there. That goes... There, 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 there. Good. Okay, maybe this time don't starve to death. Let's disable the UI again. Thank you. Now. <laughs> I've got a dancing girl with a drum set. <sighs> yeah. So this this is my character. I'd like you to meet uh, Karangar the Mighty in one of his many iterations. He's making a beautiful T-pose for us. He should disappear after some time. Just ignore him for now. Also got a nice, healthy green glow to uh, show that I died in here recently. I've got tables and chairs. We've got a pirate. We've got a peg leg, but I can't really show that to you because he's stuck in the chair right now. The main bar with a kitchen, a small kitchen, and a lovely fireplace to warm yourself by in the evenings such as this. In here we have one of the four bedrooms, the green room, the red room, the blue room and the orange room are all very plain as you would expect in an inn, but uh, let's ignore him. Just, just look away. <laughs> We're going out. It's almost morning. I don't have much time. Let's get back to the, uh, the market, which I wish I could have showed you in the dead of night, but it'll have to do right now. It's got a lovely uh, sort of the slave market has a lovely sort of uh, ambience to it, I guess would be the word. The I kind of made it to resemble a, uh, you know, like a, a like what I what I imagine the old markets of Cairo to look like, like you know, back in the back in the Middle Ages, just hustle and bustle everywhere, deals being made, coin being spent, drink being handed out liberally, samples, foods, the smells, the sights, the cries of anguish of slaves. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, there's a few things that are missing here and there. There's definitely a lot missing that inside of the keep, but overall I'm, I'm pretty happy with the way it's turned out. I'm going to keep working on it over time, and I hope to show you guys an update uh, once dawn breaks, I'm going to take you up to the top and maybe get a few different angles of the sunrise, and we'll probably end there. I might take us, might take a little walk and see the castle structure from a distance, maybe up on one of the mountains there. I'll, I'll go for. So, I'll climb up one of the towers again, or slaves in here. We need to be armed, some of them. A lot of them are unique, but some of them are not. Moros, would you please stand aside? Open the trap door. Shut that. No, 
on its braking. It's quite a beautiful game. Um, of all the things that they got wrong, they definitely got a lot right. And it's lovely to look at, especially during times like this, during the early morning hours and in the evening. In the middle of the day, it doesn't really matter when. Um, I wish the weather system was a little more dynamic so that there'd be rainstorms and stuff, in, but it's all dependent on where you are on the map. It's just the way it goes. Um, various mountains surrounding us. As you can see, I'll try and demonstrate the peninsula that I'm on, but you can kind of see it. It curves off that way, and the entirety of the castle is curving the head of a viper with the the crown being on its head so um, I guess I'll go out the back door actually I'll go out the front door I'll go out the front gate and get a look at it from this bridge over here this is the bridge that uh, some of my neighbors built for me it's very very lovely not exactly straight, they ran into a zone of control problem. The way Conan works is with its building structures is that land is claimed uh, based on the, the clans that build there so that someone can't build right in the middle of your shit, which would be really annoying. Um, so... I, I don't think this is the best view to get, so we'll go a little further down the shore here. These, these are the neighbors up here that I, I was talking about. They built a nice little base there. And, uh... They wanted a bridge. I was like, yeah, go for it. Build it. Make Raglandia great again. <laughs> these are some new neighbors we're not really all that familiar with, but they're building kind of a nice thing, I think. Ish. <laughs> yeah. Um past all these turtles. I don't want to fight them. Get a little closer than that. You know what? I'll swim. I'll swim closer. Uh, you know what? It's not really working for me. I need, a, I need a nice view to end on, so maybe I'll climb that spire over there. Turtles and alligators are having a disagreement. Take your bets, folks. Who's gonna win? My money's on the alligator, to be honest. Uh, the world may never know. That's the castle from a distance. It's a little uh, hazy in the early morning hours. One of the main problems with this game is the short, relatively short point of... Uh, point of... Well, pop in, to put it quite bluntly. The point of disappearing on structures. As you can see, that one's rendering in right now, just because the world is so massive that it can't keep everything rendered all at once. I don't really want to fight you, so I'm not going to. Alright, you know what? That's fine. You're not supposed to fight in first-person view but I had to do that there. Let's climb up and get a good look at the place before we end the video. In fact, before I end, I might just climb the castle again. I didn't really get a uh, good look at the Temple of um, Temple of Durketo. Unfortunately, the sun was coming up too soon. But we might do that. Yeah, let's do that. That is not a good enough view. It's like the detail is lost the further you go away, and there's this strange haze that hangs over the land, so... Uh. Let's just go upstairs. Open sesame. Close sesame. Don't want anybody following me in be bad. That mean, would mean they were caught inside and I would let them out. I'm not a bad person. I'm a good boy. I don't do bad things. Much. Right. 
Temple of Durketo. Needs some work. I'm planning on making a garden up here, like uh, lots of decorative plants and stuff. And have maybe some more dancing girls and sort of a, a, a garden of earthly delights, if you will. Here we are. I believe we've seen this view before, but it's such a damn nice view, I can't, can't resist to show it off again. And uh, here is where I'll leave you, folks. Thank you for watching. As you can see, my stuff is just fading off into oblivion. As the same goes for this video. Thank you guys all for watching, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, there may be points in the future where I show more of Conan Exiles. We've got various bases all over the map, but this is the one that I've spent the most time on. This is the one that I've poured my heart and soul into, so I wanted to show you all. Thanks again for watching, and... Uh, I'll see you when I see you.